what was in need for the our uh, forefather that so human beings for gogoro for gogoro and uh, mirrors useless trinkets maybe just being in office is good enough for him and he will he will, he will be happy enough to sell us away for that do you see him bargaining for anything did you if i was a couple of us i would be telling them oh you want your bazoom back in office get the french out get the us out then maybe i'll consider and stop all these your new colonial policies against us maybe i will consider because then that will trigger a conversation worldwide that what is this nonsense what is this policy they are talking about because this policy you want the whole world to know what is going on because most people don't know that african countries most from countries are technically still under colonialism and under a form of slavery really they steal their resources and they get away with it this is this, this is the time to challenge it and expose it if they want us to keep them there and they want to be friends then maybe we should get the treatment that the Jap Japanese get, the Indians are getting now. They are going to India to beg them to take nuclear submarines. And why would it take 10 years to negotiate to Kano with them? An aircraft that looked like a Second World War aircraft. Because these are our stupid leaders don't have ambition for their people. This is why over 1.4 billion black people are suffering all over the world. This useless set of leaders, and we forget, these are the same leaders that sold us into slavery. We never push them. We never push them. They remain in place, and this is why they don't have any ambition for our people. We have to push these our people, and we have to sooner or later wake up and start challenging them, like the way you are seen in Mali, the way you are seen in, in Niger, the way you are seen in uh, Burkina Faso and Guinea. Because we can't keep living like this. How do you think they are slow working? Look at refineries. Four refineries. Was it not Falana that was saying it just now? They spent five point five billion dollars on our refineries. And we still don't have petrol. Well, they've promised us December this year. They, it was December they last year. They commissioned a refinery that is not pumping out petrol. What kind of who commissions anything that is not working? You commission it. The reason why you are commissioning it is for petrol, and it's not giving up. It's not pumping out petrol. We have four refineries that is not working. Our power supply is not in the country. What kind of situation is that? We are not even under sanction. Is it not better for us to just strike up on our own? That's why I said to Tinubu, uh, even an American, um, uh, sorry, about Tinubu one, an American uh, senator said, within five years, American sanction will be meaningless because the BRICS nation will create their own form of currency and most nations will emerge. So why is Tinubu wanting to go and risk Nigerian lives for trinkets again? And I hope it doesn't succeed and I hope Nigerians oppose it and I actually believe it will fail and it's not going to go.